welcome back to another video today. Today, um, I went back and played Titanfall. You may remember it. No? Well, neither do I. But this mysterious game apparently had an update, and that update was uh, basically remove the Titans from Titanfall, and you've got yourself this brand new game mode. Basically, it's just pilots. Now, I was fairly excited for this game mode because I've uh, I've got a fairly hefty Call of Duty background. I like team deathmatch, I like infantry focus combat on most first person shooters, that's why I play team deathmatch on, on Battlefield quite a lot, so this uh, this sort of appealed to me, and I was really rather excited, so I jumped back on, on Titanfall and gave it a go. Now bear in mind you may not enjoy Titanfall, you may not enjoy watching it, or uh, I'm not really too sure, but uh, if you are watching, then I do appreciate it, but Titanfall for me got old very quickly, mainly because the, the gameplay was so repetitive, uh, it just didn't have any uh, pizzazz to it, if you will. Of course, you do have the, the Titan, the giant uh, Terminator robots walking around to kind of spice things up, because obviously, if you didn't have those uh, giant robots, then it would just be Call of Duty, with a sort of futuristic style, and of course, Advanced Warfare coming out in... Uh, I think in the next few months or so, is going to put its foot straight on Titanfall, and that's the end of that. But I do enjoy the Titans, even though I don't uh, I don't use them too much. I find I just uh, deploy mine and then let it do its own little thing. I much prefer to have infantry versus infantry based combat. So with this pilot only game mode, um, to be honest, it's it's okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Obviously, it's just the new game mode. Um, also saying that actually, with Titanfall, uh, you may know it only has a limited amount of weapons, which uh, isn't entirely a bad thing, because Battlefield, they do have a wide variety of weapons for you to choose from. You can have RPGs, you've got about 6 different RPGs, you've got about 20 million different assault rifles that all play out slightly differently. Either some has more recoil, some has more damage, some are better at accuracy, power etc etc so there is a wide variety and they do kind of perform differently but balancing each and every single one of those weapons uh, must be pretty difficult whereas titanfall comes in and it's only got two assault rifles two smgs one lmg uh, two sniper rifles and i think uh, a couple of shotguns if not one and the smart pistol which i totally totally despise now, it's not just the fact that it's, you know, it locks onto people and it auto-aims for you. Well, actually, that's mainly the only reason, but I, I don't really enjoy the Smart Pistol, nor have I used it at all. Um, I think my record is zero with everything. Playtime with the Smart Pistol is just non-existent. As I was saying, the pilot-only game mode is okay. If you really, really enjoy Titanfall, then this might just be up your street, but for me... Uh, Titanfall is an occasional thing. I jump on Titanfall, enjoy it for about an hour or so, if that actually. But uh, whereas you may have thought this pilot only game mode might have brought people back to Titanfall, you know, kind of brought some life back into Titanfall, making people more excited about Titanfall, I don't think that's, uh, that's the case because it's only a game mode. It's nothing really special. Frankly, if I'm perfectly honest, this game mode being basically Team Deathmatch, uh, I think should have been in the base game to start with. I mean, Battlefield, um, if you imagine the tanks being the Titans, uh, you take those away, you basically got Team Deathmatch, and I don't understand why a first-person shooter wouldn't have Team Deathmatch in their base uh, game mode rotation. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. But um, I find this game mode gets boring quite quickly, because it's only 8v8, and that's really not enough for the maps because the maps feel empty half the time when you're running around. Um, I do apologise if the gameplay is boring, but uh, as I've just said, the, the maps are pretty much empty 50% of the time. So, whereas you're not shooting anybody, you're just running around doing parkour. Which, I have to say, is actually something I really enjoyed within Titanfall. I think the movement, the parkour ability, the jumping, the jetpackiness is epic. It's really really incredible and of course every time I jump back on Battlefield 4 I instinctively try and run up the walls which gets me killed not only looking like an idiot but feeling like one too 
but personally, I think it's a cool addition, it's a nice uh, thing to bring into Titanfall, because, as I've mentioned, I'm not a big fan of the, the giant walking Terminators, so having Team Deathmatch in Titanfall is really rather cool. Whether or not you'll quite see it just like that, uh, I don't really know, because there's not really many people playing Titanfall anymore, which is perfectly understandable, especially with uh, Destiny only three days away, uh, I'm just super, super excited for that. I cannot wait. It's going to be mind-blowing. But do let me know in the comment section below what you make of Titanfall anymore. Do you still play Titanfall? Do you think this game mode might make you play Titanfall one last time? Or is it just pretty much pointless? Let me know down below. With that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.